What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV, and these are very lovely little anemones, Aptasia. You probably have some in your tank. Oh, maybe you don't have a tank. I shouldn't make assumptions. Maybe you are new to the hobby. Maybe you're new to the channel. Hello, welcome. This is a hello to you. Hello. Who else is here? We got Matt today. We have Diggs today. We got Mike today. This is a store in Toronto that specializes in saltwater aquariums. Yeah. And what are we doing today? Today's video. What are we doing? Oh, uh, yeah, the suspense is over. Oh, we're catching a file fish. So we had in this tank a quite... I don't know, would you, bad problem? Beginning of a problem. The beginning. I would say the beginning of a problem. This is a coral bed measuring eight feet by three feet by 12 inches with lots of frags. And we had the beginning, there he is, found him. Haha. -ha. We had the beginning of an aptasia problem. These little glass anemones, they were starting to run rampant in between the frags. Keep your eye on him. Uh, we're gonna catch him in a sink. But they were uh, starting to grow in between frags, in between the rack. Very, very common in the saltwater world. Very annoying, and they kill coral. So I was originally showing you here in this tank. It's growing on the side of my Nephthia. You see them right there? Glass anemones. They're really ugly. They serve no purpose. I don't know. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. They sting corals, yeah. I think they serve no, they're, they're a complete pest, complete weed, mm, and we want them out. So. Sidetrack. Oh, did you just say sidetrack? Yeah. yeah. We got tea on sidetracks. <laughs> a lady came in yesterday and said uh, her heater had blown up her tank, lost all her coral, and the only thing that survived were the aptasia. Wow. Yeah. Only thing that survived were aptasia after complete destruction. If we had nuclear fallout on this planet. Yeah, didn't we see it in that fresh water one time? Aptasia? Well, what was in like 35 specifically? If you're trying to get rid of them in your tank, a couple things yeah. you can do. Peppermint shrimp will eat them. If you can see them there, see the peppermint shrimp? Oh, where are they? Those will eat them. I like this product here, Aptasia X. It's like a, a gunk, like a, not a gunk. It comes in a syringe and you can nuke them with that. You can also use F Aptasia, that's another good product. What else will eat? Oh, Bergias, Bergias. What, F Aptasia? Yeah, we've killed a couple corals with it. Um, look at our sophisticated Bergia breeding box over here. Oh, I don't think we have any. Usually we do, there's these little slugs. Wow, that was really not suspenseful. Um, yeah, you, these little, little white slugs, they'll eat it. And then finally, you can use fish. So Aptasia eating file fish, like this one in here. And copper bands as well. Okay, so he's done a great, great job. Why are we taking the fish out? Hmm, a little bit of a problem. He's being, he's gotten a little taste for our acans. So file fish, not always 100% reef safe. He, he completely eradicated all the aptasia in this tank. It's been about bored. two weeks. Yeah, they get bored and they start nipping on the acan. So you can see here, they could look a little puffier, a little bit better. Astriopora, like the tentacles should be falling, falling out of the skeleton here. Everything is a little bit eh, kind of closed up. So we suspect it's him. I haven't seen him actually nipping on them. You I have. saw him yesterday. Tia can confirm. This is what an acan should look like when it's not getting eaten by um, a fish. I had a really nice one here. Where is that green one? Like this. That's it. That's a good sign. See there? Really puffy. Really plump. That's a good sign for an A-can. Uh, the one... Oh, there's another good one. Sorry for the motion sickness. See that? Looks fat. Healthy. No skeleton. That's a really good sign. So, he's going to come out and then... What are we going to do with him? Rent. Yeah. Tia's going to rent the fish. So if you're looking to get rid of Aptasia, these are a great, great tool. They're readily available. We sell them, they're captive bred. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And the only thing to keep in mind is after he does a job, he may turn on your LPS corals. How are you gonna catch him? I, I'm gonna try to move him a little bit over. See ya, master fish catcher. Whoa. We got this. Womp, womp. That's it. It's pretty easy catch. It's not a hard fish to catch. They are not the brightest. So if you do add one to your tank, don't be too worried about trying to get it out. It's not like trying to catch, um, let's say, a ras. Like this chorus ras wouldn't be the easiest. Or that ras in the middle that I can never remember its name, but everyone seems to remember except me some fish uh, damsels really tricky to catch we literally caught this in so 30 seconds he did a great job if someone's looking for one um, come by he is here he's for sale maybe he can help you eradicate your aptasia 
How many should you add to a tank? Hmm? Yeah, I bought him. He can go with those ones. This is a 200 gallon. He cleared it in about in about two weeks. Um, they might come back. Maybe he missed a few here and there. This is something we kind of do often in the store. Oh, Tia, actually, you can't have it because Tia's borrowing it. So when Tia's done renting it, yeah. yeah, then you can come grab it. But he did an awesome, awesome job on this tank. Aptasia destroyed. Aptasia gone? Actually, we should probably throw them in here. Okay, maybe when you're done. This, this tank kind of just always has them. And I sort of live with them. If you have Aptasia, it's not the end of the world. This one, you know, whenever I feel like it, I'll grab some F Aptasia. It's not killing the corals, it's just pissing them off. You see how he's kind of, he's growing um, away from it. He doesn't want to get stung. Because they are anemones, they do have a little bit of a sting. But it's good to get rid of them before they become a real problem. It's, and It seems like it's one of those things where you just kind of... It. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, you manage it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I'm at that point with this tank. It looks pretty good. They're in there, but uh, copper band. If you can find a healthy one, I've never had. I never had good luck. What the heck? Get out of here, yellow tang. I see him picking up the Duncan. Look, you guys, look at this. What are you doing there? Do it again. Do it for the camera. I'm not. I'm not seeing things. Right? Everyone else saw that. Okay, we're gonna wrap this one up. Thank you for watching today's video on. Uh, catching a fish. I guess that's what today's video was. We'll see you guys back here soon. Uh, if you like the content, give us one of these. If you haven't subscribed already, there's a button somewhere down there, da ding, and then you will get uh, you'll get notified when we do videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.